Your Majesty. Melania and I are profoundly honored to be your guests for this historic state visit. Thank you for your warm welcome, for this beautiful weather, <laughs> your gracious hospitality, and Your Majesty's nearly seven decades of treasured friendship with the United States of America. This week, we commemorate a mighty endeavor of righteous nations and one of the greatest undertakings in all of history. Seventy-five years ago, more than 150,000 Allied troops were preparing on this island to parachute into France, storm the beaches of Normandy, and win back our civilization. As Her Majesty remembers, the British people had hoped and prayed and fought for this day for nearly five years. When Britain stood alone during the Blitz of 1940 and 1941, the Nazi war machine dropped thousands of bombs on this country and right on this magnificent city. Buckingham Palace alone was bombed on 16 separate occasions. In that dark hour, the people of this nation showed the world what it means to be British. They cleared records from the streets, displayed the Union Jack from their shattered homes, and kept fighting on to victory. They only wanted victory. The courage of the United Kingdom's sons and daughters ensured that your destiny would always remain in your own hands. Through it all, the royal family was the resolute face of the Commonwealth's unwavering solidarity. In April 1945, newspapers featured a picture of the Queen Mother visiting the woman's branch of the Army, watching a young woman repair a military truck engine. That young mechanic was the future Queen, a great, great woman. Her Majesty inspired her compatriots in that fight to support the troops, defend her homeland, and defeat the enemy at all cost. We also pay tribute to Prince Philip's distinguished and valiant service in the Royal Navy during the Second World War. On D-Day, the Queen's beloved father, King George VI, delivered a stirring national address. That day, he said, after nearly five years of toil and suffering, we must renew that crusading impulse on which we entered the war and met its darkest hour. Our fight is against evil, and for a world in which goodness and honor may be the foundation of the life of men in every land. This evening, we thank God for the brave sons of the United Kingdom and the United States who defeated the Nazis and the Nazi regime and liberated millions from tyranny. The bond between our nations was forever sealed in that great crusade. As we honor our shared victory and heritage, we affirm the common values that will unite as long into the future, freedom, sovereignty, self-determination, the rule of law, and reference for the rights given to us by Almighty God. From the Second World War to today, Her Majesty has stood as a constant symbol of these priceless traditions. She has embodied the spirit of dignity, duty and patriotism that beats proudly in every British heart. On behalf of all Americans, I offer a toast to the eternal friendship of our people, the vitality of our nations, and to the long-cherished and truly remarkable reign of Her Majesty the Queen. Thank you.